I feel like people look at me and automatically assume that I am an impulsive person. And I think a big part of the reason why is because I have like six piercings. And, you know, obviously to me, it's nothing. Like I've gotten used to it. But I feel like when a random person looks at me, they're going to assume that I make decisions on a whim. You know, I just wake up one day and decide that I want to do something. I want to make a permanent body modification and I just go and do it. And they are not misguided in that assumption because that's exactly how I ended up with six piercings. I literally woke up and just decided I'm going to go make a permanent body modification. What's interesting is that I was not always like this. Growing up, I was a very reserved, safe person. I would never take chances at all. I would always play things very safe and I would always think things through very heavily before I would do things. And I think that it's good to do that. You know, it's good to think before you act because actions have consequences and consequences can last forever. They can affect the way that you live the rest of your life. But for me, I feel like as I've gotten older, I've realized that life is too short. Life is too short to worry about, you know, 20 years down the line or 50 years down the line. I might not even be alive then. You know, I want to live my best life right now. And I might make some dumb decisions. You know, when I'm 50 years old, I might regret the piercings that I have or, you know, what I'm about to get done today. But at the same time, I won't have any regrets because I'll remember how I felt when I got them done. I feel like doing things out of impulse, it gives me like this little high. It makes me feel alive. Like it gives life a certain spark. And I've used this spark to take myself out of depression multiple times. And this is a trend that I never really noticed in myself that whenever I'm depressed, I tend to start doing things on impulse more. And usually it's out of necessity. You know, like for example, when I dropped out of school, I didn't really know that I was going to drop out of school or I mean, that that's a lie. I didn't know that I was going to drop out of school, but at the same time, I didn't really plan out how I was going to do it. It's just like one day I went on the Blackboard website or wherever all my classes were and I just dropped all of them at the same time. And at the time, I didn't even know that I was actually dropping out. I just knew I was dropping my classes. For all I knew, I was only going to take a gap semester and be back in college, you know, the next year. But obviously things didn't work out that way. But like I said, I didn't think this through. I didn't think about the consequences of dropping out of college. I just felt intuitively like it was time to leave. And so I did, you know, and it was probably the best decision I've ever made in my life because immediately my depression disappeared. As soon as I dropped those classes, my depression disappeared. And it just felt so amazing to do something like that for myself, to finally think for myself for the first time in my life, to do something that would potentially lead me down a path of destruction. You know, a lot of people who drop out of college don't really do much with their lives, if I'm being honest. And, you know, I'm not here to tell you that you need to go to college to be successful, but... You know, doing what I did, it wasn't a very smart decision. Just on paper, you know, it wasn't very logical. And it went against the grain of what I was accustomed to doing from, you know, all the years of playing it safe and thinking before I act. But, you know, at the end of the day, I just had a gut feeling and I just decided to get out of college. I decided that it no longer served me on my path. And so I, I just left just like that. And, you know, that same exact mentality is what led me to make my first YouTube video about why I dropped out of college. You know, prior to that, I was known to be a very reserved person. I didn't talk very much and I was camera shy. I wasn't confident in myself. And I just decided to hit the record button on my phone and just talk and post it on the internet for potentially millions of people to see. And you know, that was a very impulsive decision. Like when I made that video, I did not think that, you know, less than two years after that, I would be getting paid to do that. 
every day. So, you know, just listening to that little voice in my head that told me to make that video, not even with any real intentions in the long haul, just to do something for myself in that very moment. I would say that it paid off pretty well. And you know, that same exact mentality, that's what led me to quit my job this year. You know, I maybe had around $700 saved up, if that, and I just had a gut feeling that it was time to quit. I knew that there was something bigger out there waiting for me. And you can ask all of the people that I used to work with at my job. I was telling them that, you know, I feel like I need to quit. I feel like my time is coming. And, you know, some people, they believed in me more than others. But at the end of the day, I believed in myself and that's all that mattered. And I believed in myself enough to quit that job and never look back after that. You know, I knew in my heart that once I quit that job, that was gonna be the last time that I ever worked at a regular job again. I just knew it in my heart. Something just kept telling me that. And, you know, I acted off of impulse. I just acted on a feeling. I didn't act based on logic. I acted based on what I was feeling in that exact moment. Not knowing exactly how things were gonna play out but just knowing intuitively that everything was going to work out for the better because that's just what I felt. You know, my intuition had never led me astray up to that point, so why would it lead me astray then? And, you know, that was back in March. Now it is September as I'm filming this video, and I'm making just about as much as I was at that job already, and I only just started getting paid a few months ago. You know, I'm 20 years old and I would say I'm doing much better than I would be had I stayed in school or had I stayed at that job. I didn't let fear get in the way of opportunity. And I feel like being impulsive is what has gotten me to this point. And it's because of that mentality that I know I'm going to be very successful. I may be nervous, my hand may be shaking. Come the f up your arm. All right, so I just got my first tattoo. Um, it is kind of hard to see right now, but basically I got my birthday in Roman numerals. And the reason why I got that is because I figured if I'm gonna get anything tattooed on me, I want it to be something that is never going to change. And my birthday is never gonna change, you know? So I figure I might as well just get that. I'll try to show it to you guys again whenever the saran wrap is off so that you can actually see it, but yeah, that's my first tattoo. I literally just decided to get it a couple of days ago. So, if you didn't believe me before,